Yo, what's good, everybody? Good on the beers of Barton. It is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. Yeah, February 2024. And here we are. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. I am so far. Um, you'll know why I'm here pretty soon. I'm obviously pretty amped for the Super Bowl. It's coming up seven, eight days from today. Um, Michaela turns 13 a week from today. That's crazy. Um, Dance is back in full swing. As we know, it never stops. Can't stop, won't stop. Um, having some uh, family over tomorrow and close friends to celebrate uh, Michaela's 13th. Um, beach next weekend with some uh, best friends to celebrate. And then um, week after with um, the grandparents and such. So the birthday month continues. But, you know, tell me what this is about. This is about... Duke, D-O-O-K, Carolina, um, greatest rivalry, and definitely in college basketball, but probably in all sports, in my opinion. I'm a Tar Heels fan, so I'll uh, maybe bias, but uh, <clears throat> I think there it's like 180th um, matchup tonight, 49th tonight of matchup out of 180 that both teams were in the top 10. Think about that. That's like... 30% of all matchups of their history, both teams have been in the top 10. Uh, they were tied at 24. Carolina wins tonight, 90-43. So we're up one. But uh, great game. Carolina looks like the real deal. Um, haven't watched Duke much this year. They're very talented. They can score. They got some big men. But uh, Carolina's defense really looked like the difference. So really enjoyed it. Got that dub. Uh, Carolina 10-1 first place. Duke seven and three in second place. So two and a half game lead on the Dukies. I love it. So what are we doing tonight? So you're gonna get a little beers with Barton in. This one is an Founders All Day. I all I'm sorry, all night IPA, which that's what Carolina did to Duke tonight, is just gave it to him all night. <laughs> My boy Danny Dimes hooked me up, did a little beer share. My man did a Dry January, so 30-something days. I think a couple days before New Year's, he even did. So I think like 33 days dry. I don't know how he did it. So cheers to him for that. But he hooked me up with some beers. He had a bunch. Uh, we usually switch beers back and forth. And uh, a couple weeks ago, he hooked me up with some, I don't know, eight or ten beers. And I've been sipping through them for a while now. And this is the last one left, to be honest with you. Um, and again, Founders, All Night IPA, Session Black IPA. 4.7. I actually don't think I've had this beer before. I like Founders. Um, but yeah, Carolina looked good tonight. Uh, pretty much led the whole game. Duke kind of was in it here and there. Um, it smells fantastic. But uh, Carolina pretty much dominated the game. RJ Davis, who's the leading scorer in the ACC at like 21.5 points, I think had four at halftime and maybe scored 11 in the second, so 15 total. Baycott had a great game. Um, Ingram went bananas. I think he had 21 and 15, something like that. So great team win. Uh, Carolina, third ranked team in the country, beats the seventh ranked team in the country, Duke. Um, Carolina did lose earlier this week to Georgia Tech unranked on the road. Uh, so if they hold at three, I'd be pretty happy. But, uh, you know, beat a big time game, it's good. Duke is not the seventh best team in the country. Uh, Carolina may, may not be the top three they're top five for sure if i'm if i'm looking at all the teams this year i've watched a lot of college basketball they're top five it's probably uh yukon is definitely number one purdue's probably number two kansas is probably number three and i'd say carolina is probably number four it's probably where i put it and um you know duke may be top 10 but they're good they've got some scores um i'm biased also so i'm, I'm a hater but uh they're not the seventh best team um they lost to some bad teams this year like pittsburgh at home Anyway, so cheers. Carolina beats Duke. It's fantastic. Hopefully this is a, a momentum starter for my sports teams, which is Carolina beating Duke. And the Niners won in the Super Bowl in eight days. I don't know. We got the Swifties to worry about. So cheers. Founders all night IPA. 4.7, I think I said. 4.8. Yeah, 4.7. Drinks like a 4.9. All right, cheers, everybody. It's Black IPA. 
We're going to drink this. And we're going to enjoy this champion championship, this win tonight. Cheers. It's tasty. All right, everybody. Again, hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I am so far. Um, and uh, just to top it off tonight, if you pour it in your glass, got to finish it. Uh, we're going to celebrate a little bit tonight. We're going to have a little sipper. I got this last Christmas, not this past, the year before. So I've had this for, man, 13 or so months. And, uh, you know, Blanton's is just a solid, solid, good flavor, but it's just hard to find. I mean, if you can find it for around 90 bucks or whatever it is, it's well worth the price. One of my favorite ones. You just can't find it. It's crazy. I can find other stuff that's like, you know, 100 or 110. And to me, it tastes half as good. So I'm going to celebrate a little bit. A little Blanton's. Cheers to the Tar Heels. You guys beat Duke. I love it. It's one of my favorite nights of the year. It's first weekend of February, last game of every year. So we'll be in Cameron Indoor Stadium. March 9th, maybe? Sounds about right. All right. Cheers. Blanton. Tastes like a win. All right, buddy. Have a good rest of your night. Heels. Until next time.